hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel to go funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe for those coming for the first time to our channel welcome for those retaining welcome back um thank you for 20,000 subscribers you guys are the best i've noticed the numbers are going up uh one a route to 21k and i'm lo looking forward to that so thank you keep subscribing keep watching keep sharing keep commenting and thank you in advance thank you for your support guys and hope you guys are doing all right you can find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there say hi to us we'll be more than glad to say hi to you or suggest something or we'll read your messages um, you can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. Big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to did Sheikh. I mean, did that convert to Christianity on his deathbed? So, without wasting time, and this is by Mike Lee Connor refuted. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. I'll conclude with this. A close relative of the great Muslim apologist Ahmed Didat told Josh McDowell that on the day before his death, Didat requested that he bring him a copy of Josh's book, More Than a Carpenter. So he brought a copy to Didat, who then read portions of it. Didat was apparently having second thoughts about Islam and was taking another look at Jesus. Didat was apparently having second thoughts about Islam and was taking another look at Jesus. Oh, once every week, once every two weeks, just over dinner in my home, just he and I, and, and, uh, and I'm going to give you today the first lesson that I ever gave him, which I think was the most impactful lesson. And then I'm going to give you also the last lesson that I gave him, which was given to him in the hospital just recently. And the first lesson was this. I asked him, I said, what have you been reading in the scriptures lately? And he showed me, and I said, so what have you been getting out of it? And he said, well, I've been, you know, critiquing this and studying whether the relevancy of this portion and, and, and the authenticity of that portion. And I said, and what's God been saying to you? He says, well, 
really not a lot. I've just been critiquing it. And I said, that is your problem, Nabil. Every word in this book is true. Every word in the book is true. God has watched over his word to perform it. And I am so glad that you got all this education. But remember, every word in this book is true. You read the, 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 the uh, testimony of, of uh, Billy Graham. It was not until he fell on his knees and said, Lord, I take every word in this book as truth. It was only then that his ministry burst forth. And I said, you have some repenting to do. So we got down on our knees right there in the kitchen. And he repented for not taking God's word as every word being true. There is some chatter on the internet that, that Nabil somehow denied the faith in the end. That is not true at all. I was with him almost every day for the last couple of months. What people should understand first of all is there is nothing wrong with reading a book from another religion. If anything, that's the only way to gain knowledge about that particular religion in life. And um, you just can't stick to one style of book and expect to learn about something. Then you're denying yourself all the knowledge that's out there. It's, it's like saying, I only want to read romantic novels. How then am I going to read about the history of the world. How then am I going to know about um, uh, what's in scientific books or whatever the case is? Um, I mean, for someone to say, I feel like sometimes um, titles, people use clickbaits just to sell their agenda so that people can just click on them or go to them and say, what really happened because people that that's what people like because someone is going to um sit there and wonder what really happened what made him uh convert or why would the person convert just trying to find a reason to pull in the crowds you know and people shouldn't actually take it to heart people should learn that um people should learn that there are going to be people that are putting out click bits don't get offended the people that are going to twist your words don't get offended the people that are going to say anything to get people selling right now i feel like controversy is the new thing whereby even tiktoks it's always that one thing that's trending even youtube videos it's always that one thing or that one person that's foul in the mouth that's um trending so these these are just tactics tactics to gain audiences and I don't, if you've done public relations, then you know, or if you've done marketing or something, you should know that clickbaits are just a means to get people's attraction, to get those views, to get whatever you want to get. And at the end of the day, if you find the information is different, you just panic for nothing. But uh, people, people really, really want to interpret things as they want really up to you to believe them or not to believe them so yeah let me know what you guys think about this video if there's anything like this that you want to, want me or us to react to drop the link or the name down below we'll be more than glad to react to it uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video